Yeah, I had an epiphany this morning. I was going to order some more of um, those uh, mushroom lamps for my friends in Mexico. They asked me to bring some. And I walked right by an electronics market yesterday, so I'm going to go back there and see if they can source them for me. I'll just buy a handful while I'm here. I don't have to have them shipped. I, I can't check them because they have lithium batteries. I can't check them uh, at the airport when I go home. I have to carry them on. So I'll only bring a handful back. Maybe I'll bring an extra one and give one away. But it's another gorgeous day today. Another gorgeous day. And this is the closed section. So Guangzhou, you can source all these stores, they're wholesalers. These are not, you're not going to walk in and buy one of these things. They're going to want to sell you a thousand of these shirts or a hundred of these hats or whatever they're selling. So the people that I'm going to be talking to about these lamps, they're probably not going to want to sell me just a handful, but we'll see what I can do. Now, if every time I come here, I go a different way, and I'm really starting to get to know these neighborhoods. You know, for somebody who's been here less than a week, not bad. So, if I'm correct, I will come up to the one of the side entrances of that park I was in yesterday that had that decibel meter. And if I go through the park, it will take me back to the electronic stores. So you can see how small these spaces are. You know, this is obviously an empty space, so... Imagine being trapped in this thing all day, especially if you've got it full of product. Like if we go to the next store right here. Well, they don't have a ton of product. They've got a loft up there. So you see they've got, they've got coats. So 200 yuan for a coat. Now, I'm not saying they won't sell you one. Because I go into these places, and being a foreigner, the advantage is, is, you know, they know you don't know what's going on in most cases. And so, um, you can pretty much get away with a lot more than if you were a Chinese person. All right, I'm going to sign off here. But I, I think just the chaos, I mean, it's just, it's like, it's like watching the trains, man. It's just excitement. I mean, it's watching things happen. So when you come here and you see this type of activity, and you see this in pretty much all the major cities around China, you're going to see markets like this, like when I was in Hangzhou, Shenzhen will have it. Even Beijing, Shanghai, they have their sections like this. And so you know that there's a lot of trade going on. Oh. oh, I guess he wanted to do that. He's delivering. There you go, delivery made. But you have to have your head on a swivel, man. Because you don't know if they're coming from the left or right. And it's uh, going to be 70 three or 74 today it probably is right now it is and in the Sun it's even warmer yeah he's going down a one one way but he doesn't care hey the, the lesson learned from that is the attitude is half the battle man if you go into the battle thinking get the heck out of my way I mean, a certain percentage of people are going to get out of your way. See, I find this tough entertaining. Now, maybe some people wouldn't, maybe, but you learn a lot just by planting yourself on the corner here, watching, and if I could listen more, then I would listen. Yeah. Hey. Okay, signing.
Alright, it's the end of the day. Well, uh, 3.48. People are starting to sense the end of the day. You can see how crazy it is here. Yeah, this is an electric bus. So it's very quiet. And you can see it still holds a lot of people. Hear the difference? The second one is a diesel, I believe. About six o'clock on Wednesday. I think it's the seventeenth of January.
Water taxi going across the river there. <laughs> 